to be a finalist in the Coaching Manitoba Excellence Awards Grassroots category. Tracy Sturden. Congratulations, Tracy. You deserve it. Mike Dion. Athletics. Lori Henderson, Gymnastics. Len Howell, 10-pin bowling. Bill Hudson, Volleyball. Bill Johnson, Wheelchair Basketball. Roger Lavoisier, Volleyball. Chris Lewis, Soccer. Dallas Ludwig, Diving. Carol Midlow, Ringette. Sue Sutherland, Figure Skating. Hilton Wood, Curling. Lori Henderson has been a gymnastics coach for more than 34 years in the province of Manitoba. She began her coaching career in Winnipeg, but has coached the past 11 years with the Brandon Eagles Gymnastics Club. If I could describe Lori in 10 seconds, I would say that she's hardworking, loyal, she's um, confident, and she's an optimist. She knows your standards and what you, your goals and what you want to achieve. Through Lori's leadership, the club is regularly represented at Western Canadian and national levels. Lori is instrumental in designing and supervising training to help her athletes meet their goals and in the development of assistant coaches. It's important to teach them, you know, the sport as well as, you know, the sportsmanship and, you know, going on in life and how the sport's going to help them later on in life, uh, not just the sport. She is very um, hardworking towards everyone. She never gives up on you, and she just trusts you, and we trust her. She is a really good coach, and she knows what she's talking about. The most important thing she's taught me is probably to follow your dreams, and um, if you're having a bad day, you just have to get up and try again. I thought once of retiring, but somehow it gets in your bones and you can't quite uh, get out of it. It's almost an addiction. Um, I, would get really, I would get really sad to leave the kids and every time you, know, you finish with a group, you think, well, this is when I'm gonna retire, but then another couple of little ones come up and you keep going again. And so I'll probably be answering this question when I'm about 95 if I'm still healthy. <laughs> Lori brings a love of gymnastics, a sense of humor, and a healthy competitive spirit to work. She is totally dedicated to coaching and is giving of her time and her passion. These are just some of the qualities that have made her a finalist in the Coaching Manitoba Excellence Awards developmental category. Bill Hudson is an intensely competitive person. By his own admission, he hates to lose. This competitiveness is tempered by a strong and well-defined principle. Bill's commitment to this principle is unwavering and non-negotiable. He will not sacrifice this principle to win a game or even a championship. This is not a lesson that Bill sets out to teach athletes. Rather, it is a fundamental part of his character, and because of this, the lesson is delivered with a strength and conviction that is impossible to ignore. This strong principle rubs off on those around Phil. I guess the most important characteristic of being a good coach, I guess, is 
competition. Definitely having a knowledge base of, uh, of, your, of the program that you're running, the sport, and uh, being able to be organized and uh, prepared for practice so everything runs as smooth as possible, and showing passion about your sport, and uh, I think being a decent teacher helps, and uh, you know, just, just wanting to be here, I guess, is the most important thing. I think a lot of people coach for uh, other reasons other than just wanting to be here with the kids and uh, I don't think too many coaches in Canada get paid a lot of money so that most of them have their reasons in the right way but I think you know loving the, love being with the kids and seeing them improve and it's it's pretty enjoyable that's why a lot of people stick for it for as long as I have I guess. The athletes and coaches soon find themselves approaching their preparation, training and competitions with the same dedication and honest commitment that Phil brings to each and every team he coaches. Athletes who play for Phil are richer for the experience. They are undoubtedly better volleyball players, they have greater insight into what it takes to compete at a high level, and they have learned how to win with honor and lose with grace. Uh, he's taught me how to uh, just to stay calm and just know my role on the team and just to help me become more of a leader and uh, as well as lots of uh, technical aspects to the game. I think Phil deserves this award just because he's well, so well known in the volleyball community and he's had so much success. He's won five provincial high school titles and he's had great success in the Canada Games and other things. So he's very deserving of this. Phil's dedication and commitment have led him to be chosen as a finalist in the Coaching Manitoba Excellence Awards developmental category. Phil began coaching the sport of wheelchair basketball nine years ago. He got his start when a group of women wheelchair basketball players faced the dilemma of losing their team if they did not find a coach. Phil did not hesitate and has been coaching ever since. He brings so much to the program. Without Bill, there wouldn't be a program in Manitoba. He single-handedly brought it up from pretty much nothing a few years ago to national champions repeatedly. Bill has aided in the coaching and training of many athletes three of which have gone on to be named to the men's junior and women's national teams. He went beyond his call as a coach by being a mentor to these athletes on and off the court, as well as being a friend that earned their respect and admiration. Well, I think Bill deserves his award because he puts in a lot of work coaching us, and he's done everything he can to better himself, to better us. He has huge commitment, not only to his team, but to the whole program, management wheelchair sports, and he's devoted a huge part of his life. He basically puts us as a huge priority in uh, everything he does. I think that sometimes coaches lose sight in the fact that, that they're working with people. These aren't machines, this isn't robots that they're creating here. You want to make sure that your athletes go on to achieve more in life than becoming a good wheelchair basketball player. Wheelchair basketball is his life completely and I think he puts so much heart and effort into everything he does involving coaching and wheelchair basketball. Every year I say I'm going to cut back a little bit. Maybe I'll coach a little bit less. Maybe I'll spend some more time doing some other things. And every year there's a couple new people that come along and I think, well, these kids need some more work and maybe they need a little bit of help. And I can impart all new knowledge to them and it's just a, it's a great feeling to help new people. And every time I think, well, you know what, I've helped these guys along. They're very good players now. Another group of kids comes along and I always think, well, I can help these ones just as much. And I just, it's, as much as the, during the season it can become tedious coming to practices all the time, three or four times a week coming to the gym and meeting kids and dealing with all the problems that come up over the course of a year in any sport, it's so rewarding when it comes to the end of the year. And you, like I said before, you just, you realize that you help these kids go on to something. It's just, it's a, I, I, I get a high off that. As a player coach, Bill understands the emotions and needs of the other players while always maintaining a level head for his athletes, thus making him a very worthy finalist in the Coaching Manitoba Excellence Awards developmental category. Lori Henderson. Congratulations, Lori, you deserve it.
Gary Pallet, triathlon. Dennis Van Laken, weightlifting. Trevor Borland, squash. Don McKenzie, karate. Don McKenzie has been coaching traditional karate for over 25 years. Currently, Don is coaching at both the provincial and national level. Don himself is a competent karateka who knows how to transmit his passion of the sport through his interactions with his athletes. The most important thing about being a coach is, under, I think, understanding the athletes, how to get them motivated, uh, ensuring that they understand the importance of team, because that's, I, I really emphasize that, and I think uh, making uh, trying to teach them to understand the importance of each other and everything else. That's one of the most important points, coaching. Uh, what I enjoy most about coaching uh, is the training, the athletes. Uh, I think it's fantastic. I get an unbelievable buzz from the athletes, uh, watching them compete, watching them just train. Uh, they're a great group. He is highly respected for his charisma, his leadership, his sense of humor, and his attention to his athletes. He has a mission to constantly supervise his athletes to support them, and most of all, to encourage them regardless if they win or lose. I believe he's opened a lot of doors for people in Manitoba. Not only have uh, we compete on an international level, but as Manitobans, we can all be world champions one day for sure. We've really brought the level up, and that's all thanks to Don. He's really made us believe in, in each other and brought us together as a team, and we're stronger than we ever have been. With his experience and uh, dedication to karate, Sensei McKenzie is a wonderful role model and has always um, encouraged all of his uh, athletes and his teammates to do their best. He is the uh, best example of what we strive to be. He sets uh, good precedent and we all strive to perform as he does. He has impacted my life by instilling some self-confidence for, for me personally. Uh, Cincy McKenzie's impacted my life in the way that uh, when you think you're done and you can't keep going, to dig deep and keep going. Uh, he's taught me to, I guess, believe in myself, my abilities, push myself. He has a way of bringing something out of you that you might not think is there. Um, he just has a way with people. He is devoted to their development as athletes but also as individuals in their daily life. These are just a few of the qualities that make Don worthy of being a finalist in this year's Coaching Manitoba Excellence Awards High Performance category. Gary Pallet has been coaching since 1985 and has been the head coach director for the Manitoba National Triathlon Center since 2000. He offers aspiring triathletes the opportunity to reach his or her potential. Because most of my athletes are youth athletes, junior athletes, I'm looking at a holistic development. So I don't want them, I want them to be able to leave the sport at, um, better people, not just better athletes. So I think it's very important to keep them well-rounded, not just focus just on performance, but I want them to learn like a lot of the skills that they learn, um, commitment, um, commitment, discipline. I want them to be able to transfer it to other areas of the life when they continue. He understands what is needed to compete at the national and international level, having competed himself in the past. Each athlete training with Gary is treated as an individual and receives with pinpoint accuracy the most effective training methods possible. Well, I've worked with a lot of teams, different types of coaches, and what I've noticed is that with this specific coach and group of coaches is that regardless of your talent or ability level, they make you believe that you can, you know, you can potentially reach the top level. The most important thing Gary taught me is definitely patience and to train smarter, not necessarily harder, which in the long run is, is key to success. Gary is continually updating his knowledge as a coach, keeping up to date with training methods. 
I feel like I'm constantly developing as a coach, so I'm always being challenged. So it's the situation I'm in right now, I really enjoy being in. He emails his athletes daily updates on their competition training results and even updates their competitors. Gary puts a countless amount of time and energy into this athlete's training and always goes one step further than is required. Gary likes to come across as a hard ass, but really he's just a softy inside. And he's got lots of knowledge, lots of patience, and that's how he, he pulls it off with the team, like a bunch of hooligans like us. <laughs> I really like um, developing a relationship, and I like helping um, athletes reach their potential. Training with Gary has athletes pushing themselves to higher limits, limits they never thought possible. In recognition of Gary's contribution to the athletes in the sport of triathlon, we are pleased to name him among the finalists in the Coaching Manitoba Excellence Awards in the High Performance category. Dennis has been coaching at the high performance level for the past seven years and this past year had three athletes on the national team. Dennis is a very approachable coach who is always available to help his athletes with a problem. He keeps them motivated through the good training days as well as the rough ones. One of Dennis's greatest talents as a coach is in his ability to plan training programs for a variety of athletes who are all working towards different goals and peaking at different times. The most memorable moments is when athletes do well within their capabilities and reach uh, their potential so they can qualify for international games. His enthusiasm and passion for the sport of weightlifting are evident through his thorough knowledge of the history and technical aspects of the sport, as well as his willingness to offer his time and advice. Dennis is a, a, an amazing coach. He has uh, his periodization for his athletes and his knowledge of stats and different materials uh, makes him one of the best coaches in the